gun is a legend in the retriever world. He's won the championship four times, three times on the trot with Breeze of Drake's Head. And this video is a continuation from our first one, which was a basic foundation of dog work. And in this video, we're going to take you that a little bit further until you have a really well-trained dog ready for the field. John's got a, stay, stay. a young dog, the one on the right there, with a, an older, experienced dog. A dog can mark well. It can see a bird down, and particularly when there's no background, I've seen them doing it on heather, go right out and bump to the spot, places that you couldn't find. You know, you'd walk out yes. there and even you'd have trouble with it, and we're a lot higher. How do you get a dog to mark? Well, it's a build-up of confidence, really. If the dog is, uh, keeps finding every time he goes out there, it's going to build up its confidence. John's beginning to use the shotgun a lot more in these advanced stages, and it's not just so that you get familiar with carrying your gun and working with your dog. If you're lucky, you shoot two yeah. birds. Yes. Um, and many times, you know, a dog's got to be able to, to mark two birds down and sometimes even select which one you want. Mm. How do you start on, on double marks? Well, obviously, you start on a single mark, get yeah. confidence on that at first. A lot of what you're doing with your dog depends on you and the way you move with your dog, the way you can help your dog. Got our dog knowing which dummy, which bird it's going to be asked to go for. I want to vary it a little bit. That's the kind of time, isn't it, when we've got to get them onto the real thing, onto game. And sometimes this can create a few problems. Some dogs don't like it, and some yes. dogs get overexcited with it, and some dogs forget the exercises. When do we introduce cold game? Um, well, it's really to assure yourselves that, the, that they will pick game. You can go on dummies that long and then eventually find out that they, they won't pick game and you have a problem. Of course, in the shooting field, the one thing we want them to do is to pick a variety of game and introducing your dog to game isn't just one kind of thing. The dog has been picking cold game. It's important that you can trust your dog to work out of sight. So many times when we get onto a coal game and some of the longer kind of retrieves, we, we, we tend to forget the importance of putting everything together. We're a different obstacle this time. We're going over a fence and we've got a, a blind retrieve. The dog hasn't seen this one down. It's a pheasant over that fence. Right. Look how he takes his time. Many times, of course, in the shooting field, these uh, obstacles aren't up close, so John's got an obstacle at a distance. Now we're going on to real advanced stuff. These are only young dogs, but we've got to, got to know that they trust us. They've got to video, John. We, we showed puppies entering water and going into out of their depths and doing retrieving and so forth. In this one, we're going to have a little look at more advanced stuff. Basically, do you just do the same as you do on land or, or, or what? How does water different? Is it, is it more difficult or should you take certain steps or, or what? Well, the difficulty is, like you said, should you take certain steps? You can't do when it's water. <laughs> First video, you saw John introducing the dog to water, but the moment he's got him introduced to water, he likes to get them across. Sometimes you've got to send them down that river bank, down that pond, and then push them across stones in the water, catch some distractions, get that splash. Something that might be interesting to the dog, and then say no, leave it. Yes. You, get the, you get the normal shooting chap, he says, oh I don't want a field trial dog, but he wants to pick his game. Yeah. And, and at the end of the day, you must have this basis to work from to pick your game. If a bird drops across a river, across, across an obstacle where you can't get to, mm -hmm. you have to be able to send your dog to retrieve your game. Right. So that even though they say they don't want a field trial dog, you want to be able to put the game in the bag that you've just shot. It's very much a training day. Prior to this, John and Sandra and the Halstead family and friends go out and simulate this kind of day. They prepare their dogs in company. 